Michael Lee here, your realtor of the Palm Beaches, back with another video for you guys. To all my subscribers, welcome back. And if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Michael Lee, your realtor of the Palm Beaches, and it's my job to help you guys find the best hidden gems in Palm Beach County, whether that's a $5 million home on the ocean or a beautiful town home in the middle of the city please consider subscribing to the channel where you guys can stay updated on new property tours, neighborhood tours, and real estate information. Now, as a former professional basketball player, I wanna put the term big three and compare it to the big three in real estate. Now, if you're a basketball fan, you watch a bit of the NBA, you're familiar with the term big three. Now, there's also a big three in real estate. Now, those big three are how many homes are for sale, what they're selling for, and how many homes have sold. They're known as the median sale price, active homes on market, and closed sales price. Now, I'm gonna break down what all three of these terms mean in the video, so let's go. So let's start off with the most important, closed sales. Now, closed sales, what they are, everybody knows what they are. Those are the real estate transactions that have closed during that month or the previous month. Now, closed sales are known as a lagging indicator. Now, what do I mean by lagging indicator? That means that the transactions happened and the recent changes won't be seen until a month later. So that's why you see when the real estate reports are released, you see the transactions from a previous month. So for example, if you're looking at closed transactions, you'll see all of the transactions in a market report be from July if you are in August because the closed sales are a lagging indicator and they want you to update the changes to the market based on what's happened in the previous month. So let's focus on the second metric, median sales price. So what is a median sale price? A median sale price, and I'll give you an example. Let's just say a median sales price is $100,000. That means 50% of the homes that have sold are gonna be above $100,000 and 50% of the homes that have sold are going to be below $100,000. Now, why is this important to know a median sales price? So let's just say, for example, I'm working with a buyer and they're gonna say, hey, what is the average price of a home in this particular neighborhood? Now, I'm not gonna go down the list and say, hey, here's the average price of this home, that home, that home, that home, that home. I'm going to find the home that is gonna be median priced in the middle that has, says, hey, 50% is above this price and 50% is below this price. And that gives the buyer an idea of whether these homes are in their price range and if they can afford to be in the neighborhood. The same thing will apply to sellers. They're gonna say, hey, what do you think I can sell my home for? And just a quick and dirty measure of say, hey, here's what the median sales price is in this neighborhood. Currently right now, you have 50% of the homes that have sold at this price and 50% have sold below. So the median sales price is about $100,000 just to give you an idea. Now then you can take that number and then go into a detailed report and then get down to the quick and dirty details of, hey, here's what I think you can actually sell your home for, it, which is called a list price. So active inventory is last but not least. Active inventory are all of the active listings on the market with an active status at the end of the month. They're basically all the homes that are available for sale currently. Now, when they interpret this data, they use the same date at the end of the month to give a comparison of saying, hey, here's how many homes we sold or were available, not sold, they were available for sale in February. Now let's take the same number and do the same measurement of homes that are listed as active at the same date at the end of March. That can give us an idea of, hey, homes are coming on the market in droves, or hey, hey, there's been a slowdown in inventory coming to the market, which means it gives you an indication of people are looking to sell, or there's an opportunity for people looking to buy if there's a shortage of inventory of homes coming to market. So that is a quick and dirty way of saying, hey, it's a buyer's market or it's a seller's market given on the active inventory that's available for sale. Now, another quick and dirty measure as a bonus is if there's an active inventory of maybe six months or less, you're looked at as being in a seller's market where the sellers have, well, the sellers, not sailors, that's the Navy, where sellers have the advantage. And if there's six months or more of inventory on the market, that's where your buyers will have an opportunity to have an advantage because more people are looking to sell a home rather than purchase a home. Now, 
Hopefully you guys have found this information a little useful. Maybe you guys are looking to buy or sell a property and you guys can use these three quick and dirty metrics to have a little bit of information and how to attack a real estate market as well for yourself before calling an agent like myself. And if you guys are interested in purchasing a home in the West Palm Beach, Palm Beach County market, please send me a message or reach out to me directly in a comment below. And until then, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.